Hello everyone, hope you are doing very well. In this video, I will demonstrate another copilot functionality, rather two copilot functionality in supply chain management area, which is one is product detail summary, another is product summary when hovering on item. Let's see, these two features are in preview stage in 1040 version and, and I think 1040, 1040, 1042, it will be generally available, I'm not sure, but uh, let's see how we can explore this one, okay. So first we will explore and I will demonstrate the product detail summary. What is this? So in my previous video, I will I have already described demonstrated this vendor summary. If you have not watched it, just go and watch it. And very similar to this product detail summary and product summary when hovering on item, I will demonstrate today. So I have only enabled it. So let's jump into the 65 financial operation product management information management module. And here in the release product section, uh, if you say Bentley Super Bikes, or I have created some of the, uh, you know, Skoda Kushak SUV. So if I click on the click on this item, the release product item, and in this release product item, there is a new tab which is Copilot. This one. So when you open it there will be this option will come up come up which is generating summary and if you see there will be three three tabs one is about this product another is purchase information another is sales information so if you see in this about this product it actually describe the copilot actually describe all the configuration on on hand inventory for this product if you see this item the skoda kushak suv is available in different variants including size of 140 and 350 colors such as blue red white and near ports and configurations like elegance edition and world cup edition there are there is one unit of inventory on and available in all warehouses and the SUV is configurable so how this is basically doing it if you see up if you if you create a product if it is a product master then you need to create variants and all right so if you see release product variants so from here this copilot actually summarizing this feature there are these are the variants available and from here, it is basically describing what are the what are the variants about this product. It's basically summarizing. So you don't need to go here and there and how many uh, variants are available, how many dimensions are available, how many colors are available. So about this product, it will actually summarize and it will give the data. So it will, you know, I, I would say it will nullify all maximum efforts. You don't need to go here and there and to see the about this product. Rather, Copilot will do the summarization on behalf of you. And then right in the right side, if you see purchase information, the Skoda Kusha case will be priced at 67578 USD per unit with a lead time of 12 12 days set as per the default purchase order is in headings. So from where this is taking, if you see this, uh, uh, it is in the default order settings, manage inventory tab. And from here, we have this uh, default order settings. It is 12 lead time. So from where it is taking, what is the lead time of this? product for the purchase and if you see the sales information it is and i mean uh, more than that the 67578 usd is coming from the purchase tab where we have defined the price for this product okay so if you go back see this is the price similarly for sales also we have defined a price which is 789655 and this is the price it is coming okay so it is basically summarizing this data so now what we will do, we will check and see if we create a different variants, how it's showing. So what we will do, we will create another product dimension, say, um, what do you say, Olympics. Edition. Okay. I will change this. Okay. And what I will do. I will go to product release product variants and maybe I can just okay sorry I clicked on these transactions maybe I can go and click on variants variants right and here I will just select all and then I will create so it will add this variant with the Olympic edition and let's see whether it comes or not okay so see here I will click refresh and i will let this copilot to summarize once again for me let's see 
okay now you see the skoda gushal is available different variants including size of 140 vm 50 colors such, such as blue red and white all, all ports and configuration like edition uh, elegance world cup and olympic edition there is limited inventory on hand see see this is the olympic edition we just have added and added as a, a product variants and this is coming in the copilot so you don't need to go here and there and like i mentioned to see what are the variants available copilot will summarize and it will give you the data along with this purchase information and sales information this is this is about the first product and another product which you have in the sales order product similar thing but in the different page so example the perfect use case is that if you, if you you know you got an order or sales team have got an order right and then they want to see about this product so what we will do we will click on add line and then say all items and maybe let's see so what we will do we will just click anything like say suppose frame okay and when you see frame you can just hover on this item number and then in the right hand side if you see so this is summarize summary by copilot similar thing it is generating the summary for this product so you see frame is a concrete item product under product category with this operational life cycle state it has storage dimension is warehouse inside the price is this and for for 10 units with additional charges of 2 usd per unit frame is not shipped on alone and not for direct delivery it is classified as a hazardous material the unit of measure for bill of material is each the cost price is not based on the uh, at least latest received price and it is classified as abc value as a frame shipping starts on this date it does not have a tracking dimension group the product does not have a specific item model group assigned for tracking purpose so basically it is giving you the summary at the time of making punching the sales order so you don't need to go say it is obvious that the people who is from the marketing may, may suppose they are not maybe they don't want to go to the product management and they want to see you know this type of product uh, from the, all the product about this product from the sales order itself so they can just hover on this and they can see all the data all the summarization by the copilot so i have selected another one let's see how it goes the product is varying for cars with fifo item model group it is priced as 450 usd per it does not ship alone or if, uh, did a delivery latest price latest purchase price is as default unit price let us say it is not for this cost price product is stored in warehouse and site price update for cost price was this for bomb unit is each so if you notice the previous one the summary was different and this summary was different so there is no static summary you will get it is based on the natural language and jni framework and copilot is giving this summary you know based on the available you know settings or setup of this product or the history whatever available so in, in different different time and different 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 product copilot has capability to summarize and make the life easy for users i would say okay so that's it for the summarization uh, feature in the product management you know space on the product management release product form and also in the sales order when you are creating a sales order you can hover on the item and you can get the summary of the product so that's what i wanted to showcase i hope you have liked it and you will be able to implement or you will be able to you know convince or sell this to uh, i mean microsoft has come a long way right so if microsoft is adding this cooperate in daily basis so these are all the new things which is coming up so that's it for this video i hope you have liked it thanks for watching bye for now